Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time we, uh, we definitely did Bowser's Sea, Bowser's Fire Sea. And we did some other stuff, probably. And anyway, this time, Chess in the Current, um, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're doing Dire Dire Docks, I suppose. I don't remember the order for this. Maybe this one's first. It's not. Well, that's unfortunate. Actually, I think I might know the order. I think... I know that one's last. Is this the first one? It could be. Only one way to find out? Okay. It's not, by the way. In case you were wondering, it's actually not. I can't swim correctly, apparently. Anyway, last time, yeah, we we're playing we we're playing Mario 64 still, you know. I don't know why we wouldn't be. I mean, I guess theoretically, I could just kind of. Is is this direction? Isn't it? Is this the second chest? Yeah. Um. Yeah, theoretically. I should make that clicking noise with my my mouth because I notice that that picks up on the mic. I I do it often though. I like smack my like that clicking noise, that, like the Sundere characters do in anime. I try to avoid talking about anime because I know a lot of my viewers don't aren't weebs like me because I don't really play weeb games. I play Nintendo games for the most part. <laughs> um. But I, I, I'm gonna start just talking about whatever the hell I want. Because that's honestly what I do more often than playing video games, is reading manga and watching anime. I am a true, uh, and, uh, watching VTubers as well. I think I have talked about VTubers during... I forgot what series it was. But, um... Yeah, what was I gonna say? I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, clicking my tongue. That's like, uh, that's a that's a popular anime trope, I'd say. Pull jumping for red coins. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I do the hundred coins. The hundred coins isn't difficult. It's just not fun. Uh, yeah. That's basically all I had to say about that. You, there's only, like, what is it? Like, 109 coins or something in this level? Basically, there's very, very few coins, and you gotta collect them all. No, 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 no. We got, the, we got those vertical line of coins pretty smoothly, though. I gotta say. I think the only other coins other than these three are the rings in this first area. Which you do have to grab, like I said, there's a very limited number of coins in this course. And you have to grab the loose the blue switch, the blue coin switch in this level, believe it or not. It's like an actual requirement for the for the hundred coin star, which I don't know if any other level requires it or not. Maybe Hazy Maze. Hazy Maze Cave might require it. A, uh, the blue switch. Actually, you know what? Jolly Roger Brit, Jolly Roger Bay probably also does too. I don't think there's enough coins in that level. We can't actually 100% this world now that I think about it, because I don't have the metal cap yet. I could go grab it pretty easily though. Yeah, I'll do that after this mission. Now this is the, these are the coins right here that are really risky. There's a, yeah, there's a vertical line of coins here. We don't need, we don't need all of them. So I'm not gonna risk it anymore. 
and we need to. <laughs> that was scary. I think there's a uh, rank coins over here, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. All right. That is most of the difficult coins that are slow. Now we just have to go above water. And I think that should be it. The red coins and the blue coin switch should be enough coins now. Oh. There's also coins here. That is... Oh. Wrong way. So, uh, yeah. I... Uh, another thing is that I am kind of... I don't know what the right word is for it, but I don't watch mainstream anime either. I watched mostly, um... I did it again. I did the click with my tongue again. I do that whenever I think. Not whenever I think, but whenever I think aloud, as usual. I, uh... I, I did it again. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. So, yeah, when I do, um... What the hell am I trying to say? Oh yeah, when I watch anime, I don't watch like the mainstream ones that most people would even know about. I I've seen... Roughly a hundred different anime, but if you include like the different seasons as also a different anime, then it's probably more like around 100... 150, 170, something like that. So... I, I'm kind of an otaku, I guess, is the right word for it. I don't know why I started talking about that, but it's just been on... I don't know. It's what I usually talk about. I don't even remember. I feel like I recently recorded me playing Mario Sunshine for some reason when I didn't. That's another weird thing about me, is that sometimes when I play games... I, I thought that I made a Let's Play of it, and then I actually didn't, and it's really weird. Because <laughs> it's like, hey. Now I think about it, I probably... Oh, gosh. Why did I do that? Now I'm gonna have to grab this star, and it's gonna make me drop onto the... into the water. That was not... That was not good thinking on my part. At all. What the heck was I thinking? Yeah, because once I grab the, the 100 coin star with these floating red coins here, it's gonna. It's gonna drop me, so I'm gonna have to climb back up here again. I was not thinking. Like, that's a. This, this star is not that long, it just is dumb. And difficult if you don't know where the. Well, that was cool. That was interesting. You know, I was not expecting that to happen. So you know, that's it. That's not too bad. What the heck even was that? I somehow missed that. I need a better angle. There we go. That should be... I keep forgetting what button to press. There we go. I need more momentum on my jump. So with these two red coins, I think it, we only missed one coin in this level. And it's that one near the... The place where the current can suck you in and kill you. Super not cool, by the way. That's, a, that's not as easy as it looks. I don't know if it looks easy, but you have to like line it up so that you get it right. Let's try it again. Hello. That's how you're supposed to do that jump, I think. It lines up two different ways, so I can't really tell you. 
But yeah, most of my favorite anime are not, like, the mainstream ones. I'd say the most mainstream anime that I actually really like is probably... Clannad, most likely. I think Clannad's the most popular anime that I have at the top of my... top of my rankings. Maybe Fruits Basket. Yeah, Fruits Basket. That's it. What's weird is that Fruits Basket isn't that popular in Japan, but it's actually really popular in the West for some reason. I don't really know the reasoning for that. Oh wait, I was gonna do... I was gonna go get the Metal Cap. I really don't want to do Hazy Maze yet. I'm actually saving Hazy Maze Cave for, like, endgame. Huh? What the heck? Am I not swimming through the, the ring? What the heck? The Manta Ray rings suck. I hate these things. No! What the heck? I can't even tell. Am I doing something wrong here? Well, obviously I'm doing something wrong, but I can't even tell. I don't know. Oh. 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 What a difficult star. All right, now we need the metal cap for the other two stars. Well, that's technically not true. You can get the one star without the metal cap. In fact, you know what? I might as well go and try and do it. Why? I don't know. We're gonna attempt it though. It's not through the jet stream, it's the other one. I. I think technically with the right swimming, you can also get this one as well, without the metal cap. But I don't really remember how. I have the right timing right now if I can keep it. You can, you can tell because it's like a deeper noise. You literally just sit here. The issue, though... Is that... I actually almost got it there. I'm gonna actually try to do this. Yeah! Huh. That's not- that's not actually that hard. That's cool. I- I did something I was not expecting to do. I think something really underrated, though, in the anime industry is, uh, the movies. There's a lot of really good anime movies that I think a lot of people know about that are really well made. Except for the ones that are really popular. Like, there's only, like, a few. That I can think of that are like really popular that a lot of people have watched. The reason that I like anime movies is because a lot of the times, um, short, like longer animes, they they can drag on. Like there's episodes that you just want to be like, eh, when is this going to be over? It's like I just want something to happen. And anime movies, they they have a limited amount of time to tell their story, so they almost always go pretty fast. Uh, Something I've noticed, though, with Nef Netflix actually has been getting a good amount of them. I know Disney Plus has most of the Studio Ghibli movies. Um, the best Studio Ghibli movie is, by the way... Uh, oh man, what is it called? I can't think of the name of it. So yeah, you're supposed to use the Metal Cap for this. Like, you're supposed to get the Metal Cap and the Vanish Cap with that star. But you can actually do it faster without the Metal Cap, so that's a really strange one. 
Oh. We have 100% of Dire Dire Docks, which means we never have to go back in this room again. Now the only actual star that we still have to do in the basement is Hazy Maze Cave. Or the only stage, I should say. Should I just get it over with? Maybe. Are you kidding me? So yeah, this is the second Nitz star. Really annoying. What a jerk. He's a bit faster now. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Sorry, I had to focus there. But yeah, movies like, uh... What are the really popular ones? A Silent Voice. That's a really popular one. I think a big reason that got popular, though, is because it was put on Netflix. Which, you know, that makes me excited that Netflix is doing that. Uh, the other really popular one is Your Name. I think that's that's the English name of it, I'm pretty sure. Do I already have your star? No. <laughs> uh, that's something else. Yeah, we'll do Hazy Maze. Why not? Let's go. Should I do the 100 coins right away? No. I hate the 100... I hate the 100 coins. In this world. I've never attempted this, but I kind of want to try it. It's like a... Can I get up here? No. Oh well. I'm no speedrunner, but there's like a cool like trick that you can do where you can just like jump up like over the out of bounds area and fall onto the island. I really wish I knew how to do that. I'm not good at the game though. Well I'm I'd say I'm decent at the game. I'm no I'm no uh speedrunner though. Dude. Mamma mia. But yeah, your name is is popular and it's it's a good movie. It looks really good. That's that's the thing about that movie, is that the visuals are absolutely astounding. But there's a lot of other movies in the anime industry. I mostly watch the romance centered ones, or like drama centered ones, I would say. There are good action anime movies, but I'd say anime movies shine with just are you kidding me right now? I'd say they shine in the... What's the right word for it? I guess, like, the... I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of them that are really... Like, uh... A really popular, somewhat popular anime, Anohana. It's at least really popular in weeb culture. I'd say normies probably don't know about it, obviously. Um, gosh darn it. But the people who made that movie, they've made like... Uh, it's like one or two other movies that are actually really decent and probably better than Anohana. I I'm joking, but I know that would upset some people, so it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny to say. But yeah, the reason I'm talking about that now is, the reason I thought about it is cause I was thinking about the Mario movie, and I'm like, man, it's like, I wish they got a better studio for it. That's my main issue. Like, they could have gotten, like, an anime studio, like, for it, that has amazing visuals because like J nintendo's already a japanese company is it really that far-fetched for them to 
commission an anime studio to draw to like make an animated movie for Mario in an amazing art style and instead we get the illuminations and I, I don't get it I honestly don't I'm I'm baffled that Nintendo would decide specifically like the fact that Shigeru Miyamoto's behind it because like I get it they're really popular basically everywhere worldwide and that's why but like yeah the movie is probably gonna do very well I'd be shocked if the movie doesn't do very well which it kind of pisses me off in in a way because like I'm sure the movie will be fine it's probably gonna be okay you know but it, it that's actually a really large issue I have with Nintendo as a company in general it's like they have the most potential of any gaming company literally because they've shown it they've shown it in the past how good they are at making what uh, at making video games like yeah Microsoft and Sony they're cool like I have no issues with them and like all the other companies like from software they make really good games too a bunch of other companies make really awesome games Nintendo Nintendo however they're they they make good games like okay how do I say this um Nintendo th those other companies sometimes they make bad games almost always Sega for example very good example Sega usually makes pretty solid games but it also pretty often Sega makes kind of bad games uh there's a lot of bad Sega games um a lot of games that aren't even known like non-sonic related games I would I personally think that most of Sega's library of games is pretty bad I don't mean to say that in a negative way um because I honestly I, I haven't played too many Sega games and like Persona series is now owned by Sega they don't make the games though so don't you dare even say that oh but you love Persona so that means that you must love Sega I'm like shut the hell up like Persona's Atlas Atlas was bought by Sega, so, like, before you go saying that Sega made those games, I'm like, no, no, they did not. Um, anyway, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there, but my point is, what is my point? All right, um, oh yeah, I was talking about companies. Wait, I honestly don't know where I was going with that. Where I, I started talking about, oh yeah, Nintendo. They waste wasting potential. Yeah. Uh, they they have the power to make the best games in the industry by far. By far, they do because they've shown it, and they still do every like ten years. Um. Oh crap! I need to grab the milk cap. Because like you know, Breath of the Wild, very good game. Mario Odyssey, amazing game. But then they also release uh, a, a bunch of just mediocre games and like stuff like the Pokemon series and you know Metro Dread was really good too. Y you know it's like they, they make really good games occasionally and I think I, I know it's a bad it's probably a bad time to be talking about it now because Nintendo's actually been kind of on top of it in terms of their first party games. Holy cow, that was close. Because, like, uh, you know, they got the new Mario Party, which is decently popular, as far as I'm aware. Mario Party is almost always popular. It's hard to mess that up. Um, they have the new Metroid, which, like, Metroid's never been more popular. That's a lie, but, you know, we'll, we'll let... We, we can hope and dream. That, that, I don't know. I, I find an issue because I feel like Metro Dread, really good, really good game. Probably one of my favorite games on the Switch. And definitely my favorite game of 2021, no doubt. I, I want... I, I thought about doing a series on it eventually, and then I realized, oh wait, this game, no one would want to see me playing it because I suck at it. 
I literally, how many times, I don't even know how many times I died in that game. And I haven't beaten the final boss yet because it's too hard for me. Um, yeah, I stopped playing at the final boss. So, like, now if I could try to go back to it, I'm going to just suck even more. I'm really, like, why did I wait? Why did I wait to do this? Because now I'm, I'm never going to, I'm never going to beat it unless I force myself to. Where do I go? There's two stars in this place. There's one of them. Uh, but yeah. I'd say for, like, Nintendo... I guess the Wii U era is the perfect time. You know, actually, you know what? Even the Switch era. I'd say, like, 2021... Like, they release really good games. But they also release a lot of, like, stupid games, and they waste their time on them. Like, I don't get it. I don't get all of the deluxe versions of these games that are coming out. I'm like, yeah, that's cool and all. Like, people get to play them that didn't buy a Wii U. But why are you making them so expensive? And then with Zelda. <laughs> I, I just mentioned how, oh man, Breath of the Wild 2 is probably going to be amazing. What I didn't mention is how how upsetting it was for Zelda's anniversary. What was it? 30? 30th anniversary? They... So, what they did for Zelda's 20th anniversary is they released Skyward Sword, a new 3D Zelda game. Super awesome. Um, like, that was a great thing for them to do for Zelda's 20th anniversary. They released a new 3D Zelda, which, I mean, I assume they were probably going to release regardless of if it was the 20th anniversary or not, I'm sure they were working on it anyway. But, you know, that was their big thing for Zelda's 20th anniversary. What do they do for the 30th anniversary? Well, you know, we're just going to release Skyward Sword again. And, you know, it's going to have not motion controls if you feel like it. Because that was a huge complaint for a lot of the people about the game. It's like, yeah, let's uh, let's remove that. But let's, let's not change any other issue that anyone had with the game. Let's only do that. That's literally the only thing we're going to update. And, oh yeah, if you want a quick warp, which is a new feature that would be really useful, you can buy our huge-ass amiibo of a fucking bird. Fucking Loftwing. I'm like, who who is making these decisions? Because it's, it's one of the worst executive... I don't know what the hell they were thinking. My only guess, my genuinely, like, my genuine only thought, like, possible belief on this is that they genuinely were planning to release Breath of the Wild 2 last year, 2021. I, I have to believe that because, like, if that's the case, it makes a lot of sense. Everything makes a lot of sense. And, you know, circumstances delayed the game. Which, you know, is fine. That's perfectly fine. But the thing about it is, like, they never they never said that, though. They never said it was delayed. They never made it, like, seem like that was the case. So, that's only an assumption. From the information we have, we just have to assume it was never planned to come out in 2021. And that is actually all they had planned for the anniversary. Which, you know, it's like... It's not like you have to release a huge thing for their anniversary, but the issue is that they hyped it up as an anniversary. They're like, oh, for Zelda's 30th anniversary, we're gonna release all this stuff, like a Zelda Game & Watch, and uh, Skyward Sword HD, which I know I know some people are excited for Skyward Sword HD. And it's like, yeah, that that's cool, you know? That's the last 3D Zelda they haven't re-released. They've re-released every single other 3D Zelda in the past, like, not even 10 years, right? When was 3D, Ocarina of Time 3D released? I think that was 20, it was either 2011 or 2012. I think 2012. So, like, basically 10 years, they've released every 3D Zelda game again. Which, you know, that's cool, you know, that's fine. But... For the 30th anniversary, they could have done... They could have released a collection. That's basically my issue. <laughs> because I, I, I'm i playing 
that exact thing for the Mario anniversary. That's literally what I'm playing, is a collection of the 3D Mario games for a big anniversary. Quite literally, the exact same anniversary that Zelda was supposed to have. And so they had a pretty big precedent. And even then, a lot of people were like, well, why did they only release these Mario games? Like, why didn't they do all, all of the 3D Marios? E like, even after that, there were still people that were annoyed with this collection. Like, wow, this is really not worth it. They literally just put an emulator on these games. Like, there's literally no new content. It's like, they didn't even change anything. Which isn't, an that's not really true. They, uh... Especially Sunshine, because Sunshine has never been released before or now. Uh, not that you can buy it anymore. What's weird to me is that this game's actually more than almost... No, it actually is, it is more than a year old now. What the hell? Anyway. Anyway. Um, but yeah. I personally am not... I don't care that much about 3 collections and everything. It makes it a lot more convenient for me, personally, to record video games. That That's the only reasoning that I would want re-releases of these games, because recording my Switch is, my e is probably the easiest thing for me to record. Uh, just because, like, that and my PS4 are, like, the two easiest things to record. Wii U is also perfectly fine to record, but... Um, Switch and PS4 preferably are the, the two consoles that I would prefer to record on. So like collections for me, like that would be cool. So that that's the main reason that I am interested in this kind of stuff. If it was just me as a gamer, I would never purchase most of these collections, most likely. I, I might, just because, you know, it's what I'm... I, I don't want to get out my 3DS every time I want to play Majora's Mask. Is that a bat? We'll come back for that star later. Now we gotta get the 100 coins. What do I want to do... First here? I think I want to go... Into the toxic maze first. Um... Yeah. I, I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. I wish we got something more for the, the 3D. Or not even 3D Zelda, for Zelda in general. Link's Awakening, that that was a that was an okay like re remake. It wasn't something I was like super hyped about, but it was also it was good. You know, for Link's Awakening, they can't really do much else with that. And I mean, the Dungeon Maker was absolutely a failure for sure. I'm, I I don't think anyone would question that. Which way does this go? I think this... This goes... This way, yeah. Alright. We're now at 81 coins. Get some coins from these bats. Come on. One more bat. Come on. Bat. Bat. Jerk. What are you doing? I think these are called baddies, right? Baddie. Yo, baddie. You're a baddie. Yo, baddie. Get over here. Alright. <laughs> that was really strange. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Not here. Where the heck am I? Let's go this way. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to go, I think, in this door first. Yeah, this one first. Is there coins in here? Please, 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 please. Yes, there is. I knew it. I have 90 coins. Okay. I, I just don't want to die. That's my issue. The 100 coins is more important than the red coins, but I also would like to get back to the red coins. Do I go up here? No, I don't. No, no. 
I want to go over here. Hey, get over here. Da -da 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 this should let me out, right? This isn't gonna be a dead end, is it? This is... this leads to the... Yeah, this leads here. Good. Now... I have to be very, very careful with what I do here. I have to survive. Okay. Oh man. I'm actually kinda scared now. Because once I get down here, I gotta survive it. Okay, where do I jump? Where do I jump? I don't want to grab the star in accident. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh, yes. Bit of a longer episode, but that's okay. We finished Haze and Haze. Okay, now I gotta get back. Ow. Jerk. No. Come on. No. I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> no way. Unreal. Third enemies in here. Unreal. That did not just happen. <laughs> that was so cool. All right. That's it for this episode. Basically, Nintendo doesn't... <laughs> well, I don't even remember what my tangent was about. I was focusing so much on getting that. Oh, man. We finished... Yeah. We finished 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Cool. I'm, I'm saving Wong's Fortress for last. I don't know. Something like that. See you guys later.